lechon kawale and fried rice. Today we are making lechon kawale and fried rice. Secret of a good fried rice. There's only two things. It's not about the bacon, it's not about the ingredients, it's not about the egg. It's all about the wok and high heat pork belly is now boiling. We are now going to add a plate of seasoning which we have crushed garlic, chopped onion, onion and garlic powder, kosher salt, grind and ground pepper. I have parsley flakes, oregano. This is all it is for the boiling of pork belly. We'll just add it all. Para sa pork belly, pinakulon ko siya and then nilagay ko siya sa ref overnight. Before ko siya ilagay sa ref, nilagyan ko siya ng salt sa ibabaw para pag pinrito, malutong. And for the fried rice, we have, of course, the bacon. I already fried the bacon and then shinred ko lang siya into pieces. We also have chorizo. Chorizo is gonna be really, really good in fried rice. We also have the eggs, the green peas, cilantro, green onions, carrots, and for the seasoning, we have one tablespoon of soy sauce, onion and garlic powder, ground pepper, and our roasted garlic. We can make the fried rice just for five to 10 minutes. So before we start the fried rice, let's go ahead and put the lechon kawale uh, deep fried sa ating mantika. I usually cook the lechon kawale or the pork belly outside in the garage sa deep fryer pero since hindi naman siya masyadong marami we we'll use the pot with a lot of oil and then we'll just soak it there deep fry it while we're waiting for the oil para sa deep fry na pork belly let's uh, fry first or let's make the egg para sa fried rice all right we have everything ready we're going to start the fried rice now and while we're cooking that we're going to drop pork the belly sa ating hot oil. This is going to be really, really quick. The carrot. A little bit of olive oil. Green peas. The reason why I'm putting green peas and carrots together dahil the green peas natin is frozen. And then, we're not going to overcook The carrot will add the rice right away. You can do fresh rice, you can do leftover rice. This is high heat. Then we'll put all the seasoning, soy sauce. We have the roasted garlic, onion, garlic powder, and grind or ground pepper. Okay. 
We'll put chorizo and the bacon. I'll just put a little bit of butter, green onions, and cilantro. And then we'll turn the heat off. The rest of the heat will cook a little bit of the cilantro and then it will give the nice aroma to our fried rice along with uh, green onions and there you have it okay so we were able to do our fried rice in just five probably five to seven minutes now the oil for the pork belly is ready while our pork belly is cooking we're going to make smoothies i have some leftover apple slices pear slices one banana this is dragon fruit pineapple peach mango and coconut And then also one cup of raspberries, blueberries, and blackberries. This is frozen. You can get it from Costco. Fred Meyer also have it. Then we'll add orange juice and almond milk. Can you get me some more almond milk? Almond milk. Here's our pork belly and fried rice. And smoothies. Very crispy. Hello everyone. We are going to get a massage. It's about time. I'm I've been having back problems or back pain and every time I have back pain instead of taking medication I usually call my massage therapist and get a massage for 60 minutes we are going to his place and get a massage if I work out for 45 to an hour I do running a lot on treadmill sometimes um, swimming but usually it's running and also yoga he's really good at what he does and he's really been taking care of me for the last more than two years. All right, we are here. Get a massage.